happening this week. We've been talking about it, what they call the Super Bowl of Fishing. It's the Bassmaster Classic bringing in the top anglers in the sport right here to Lake Hartwell. That's right. The practice kicks off on Wednesday. We sent Fox Carolina in the air in the air to uh, get some <laughs> drone video for us. Again, practice starts on Wednesday and we'll be out there with the pros and with just people actually watching as well all week long. Our own Chris Scott had the chance hey. to meet and talk to one of the pros ahead of uh, Wednesday's first practice. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Chris Scott. We're live outside of Fox Carolina Studios and it's a Bassmaster Classic time. It's coming to town, Anderson, South Carolina at Green Pond Landing on Friday. It all begins and uh, can't wait for it to be here. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful uh, day as well. Mark Menendez, one of the anglers, is with us today. Mark, so glad to have you. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me and thanks for the beautiful South Carolina weather. Yeah, man, it's nice. You couldn't beat it. I know last time you were here it was uh, ice cold. It was like being in the ice box. It was cold. This is really going to help the fishing. The fishing's going to be great. There's going to be a lot of fish caught this week, you know, and there's lots to do here associated with the Bassmasters Classic. Yeah, you mentioned that there's so many things. The expo, there's uh, the start of the tournament itself, and then the weigh-in is always huge. Let's talk about the expo first. Uh, what can folks find there? Well, on Friday, the expo will open at noon on Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. So there's all kinds of stuff to see there. There's all the new equipment, all the latest, greatest Yamaha equipment will be there. And then you'll have all the pros there. You can come and visit your favorite pro, ask questions, talk fishing, whatever you want to do. Then the weigh-in is always exciting to see who catches the biggest fish yeah, out of Lake yeah. Hartwell. Right. So there's lots to do. And the greatest thing about it, Chris, it's all, all free. free. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, the weigh-in is a big deal. Uh, these guys must feel like rock stars coming into the Bon Secours Wellness Arena when they come in with their fish to be weighed in. You know, as many times as I've been there, every time I come through there and I'm, I'm staged to go next, I get my, my throat gets tight, I get really excited. It's really what drives us to fish year long to get to that position to see if we can be the person that climbs the top of the mountain. Yeah, there's so many things again we mentioned that not only at Green Pond Landing where the fishing is going to be held, uh, the expo, uh, but just uh, folks are going to be around from all over. Anderson and Greenville are going to benefit from having this tournament here. There's a huge economic value that comes to the home host city. So it is it is an amazing thing. You're going to see lots of people come to your lake, sample your lake after we're gone, and that's what it's about. We're promoting good fishing, good conservation, and the sustainability of your lake. So that's what we're doing, and, and Yamaha is in the first and forefront of that. Who do you like to win the tournament? Oh gosh, you know, I, I know everybody. Yeah. Um, one of my real He's good... He's really hot right now. Oh geez, well, old Grumpy's gonna do well. That's that's Yamaha Pro Matt Heron. He'll do well just because of the way the lake's setting up. Uh, Brandon Cobb, the local angler, he's got a lot of pressure on. He won the event here in 2019, mm -hmm. so there's one. But one of my dark horse picks is another young man, Yamaha Pro Shane LeHue. Shane's very quiet in the way he goes about things, but he's a great fisherman. So it's it's anybody's game. Yeah. We're so excited to have you guys. Thanks for coming by today. Uh, we're looking forward to a, a great weekend of uh, Bass Master Classic down in Anderson at Green Pond Landing. We'll actually be there on Friday morning live, so we look forward to being a part of it.